Welcome back to another video. This is part three of the paint restoration on my red lifted MX5. All we done in part one was use the Oligum clay bar kit to remove uh, any contaminants from the paint. In part two, we restored the paint using this polish here, heavy cut compound, which has worked really well. Um, if you go back and watch those videos, you'll see how well we've actually transformed the paint, removing all the oxidation from this red paint. And then in this video, we're gonna be waxing the car using the Soft 99 Fuso Dark Wax. Um, we're gonna be waxing the car today as we've polished it. We've removed all wax from the car we need to wax the car now to protect the paint. This is what you get in the soft nine kit anyway. That is the wax there. There was loads of it in it. And you have the applicator pad here as well. It's a 12 month coating, so it says it can last 12 months. So the first thing we're gonna do when we wax the car, the car is completely clean. If anyone else is starting now, you have to wash your car completely and make sure it is dry. And I'm gonna bring it out of direct sunlight as well. So I'm gonna push in the front of the car first, or there's actually shade over there. We're gonna push it into, and I'm gonna start waxing the car over there. And um, main thing about waxing the car is actually not to use too much. And um, if you don't put apply on enough, you can add more afterwards. But you don't want to put too much on that's very hard to buff off um, so yeah we're just gonna be using the applicator pad to spread it all over the car evenly and let it dry for five to five to 15 minutes and then we'll wipe it off i'm hoping to get a really nice finish with this i haven't used it before so i can't wait to see what the results gonna look like um, and then we'll spray some water on it and see what those beads look like So the car is completely waxed now and um, basically just done circular motions over the whole whole of the car um, and then I leave it for five to ten minutes just for it to dry in. You can tell that it's dried in because you can kind of becomes more visible. You can kind of see the white marks there now all along the side. That's probably too much on the mirror there um, and you can see there's a nice spread on the back here. So next thing to do after that is grab microfiber cloth and basically just buff it all out. I have a lot of micro autoglin microfiber cloths in there but there'll probably be a link down in the description where you can pick up some other ones um, and that just gets buffed out. It's, it's just basically again circular motions just wiping it off and then we'll get that really nice finish and we'll test it out with some water. After taking all the wax off the car now, and you can see the results are great from those shots of spraying the water on it. It is forming that hydrophilic, hydrophobic layer, sorry, as I was talking about earlier, that's gonna protect the paint. It didn't take too long to do the whole car. Applying it probably takes a little bit longer than removing it. Removing it is very fast once you haven't put on too much. Overall though, the full three steps of using the clay bar, using the heavy cut compound, and then putting this wax on it, the paint looks absolutely incredible. I, I can't believe it's after coming out this good. And um, before it was severely oxidized. It was, it was like just so white all on the bonnet and the uh, boot as well. The roof was in really bad condition as well. But now you can see it's, ah, it's just fantastic. It is like, it's perfect. There's like, you can literally see reflection in it now. Before it was just like a hazy white. Oh, it was terrible. And the bonnet as well, look at that. It's just fantastic. The whole car is one color again. No more white patches all around the back as well. Just so good, so happy with the results from all these three products. If anyone's looking to paint restoration on their car or just use the clay bar in general, it's a really good thing to use on normal cars as well as the wax. All the products, there'll be links to them down in the description. I'd highly recommend all of them. They're fantastic. What it's done to this car has just completely transformed it, as you can see from those shots. I'll leave some pictures at the end showing the before and after, um, but it's just amazing how, how good it looks now. It's just fantastic. Like it's all before, it would just look so bad with the oxidation, two different colors. Now it is all nice shiny red. That's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.